the waves were enormous. And Duke knew in his heart that something ill was gonna happen. And the boat turned upside down. Everyone fell overboard, fully clothed in jackets and pants and heavy gear. A good waterman is gonna make sure that everybody else out there is safe and protected. When it comes to Kuleana, a really important word translated to responsibility. Duke saw people suffering and struggling and said, I can do something. He just assumed the responsibility and jumped right in the water. Took his surfboard, which was never taught, never used for life-saving. Being who Duke was and a surfer, and for him, the ocean is a home. It's a natural element. You know, the storm, the surf, knowing where to be, where to exist, and where not to be. In the ocean, it's all about choices, not chances and he can see the point of impact, don't be there. Wait till the wave hits and diffuse all his energy and then paddle over, or paddle in, grab one person can come back in. A superhuman feat. I've made surfboard rescues for 25 years and if I had to do what he did that day, I would never have been able to physically do it. he fight to save them, back and forth trips, pushing his body beyond the limit. When all the survivors were brought in, he went back for the ones that didn't make it. I mean, there's got to be a point when he paddled out and the boat sunk and they're, they're dying in front of him, you know? And so that trauma, like all trauma, sticks with you forever. Knowing that Duke values um, every life like family. I, I think that's the thing that um, all Hawaiians or all Polynesians carry in their heart that, you know, everyone, regardless of, you know, what color they are, it's a life. It's, it could be your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, someone that, you know, is, loves that person, you know, and you would wish if that was your mother or father that someone would take their kuleano responsibility and go out there and, and rescue him, help him.